kitchen, we are making puppy chow for the holidays. And this is one of those great desserts that you can bring over to friends or family for the holidays. If they ask you to bring something, you don't have to bake anything. So if you're a little intimidated of baking something for the holidays, try this recipe. It's only a few ingredients and we promise that all the guests are gonna love it that who eats it. So are you ready, Maria? Yes. Let's get started on making this. Puppy chow. Woo! To get started on this puppy chow, we are going to add into this big bowl some chocolate chips. Mm-hmm. It is a lot of chocolate, right? Mm-hmm. What else do we got? And then some vanilla extract. Mm-hmm. One of our favorites, right? Yes. It smells so good, doesn't it? We can't resist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. And some butter. And last, butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. That's right. And you know what, Maria? You have some friends that have peanut allergies, don't you? Yes. And I've noticed at the store that they actually have peanut butter that doesn't use peanuts. How do I do that? I don't know how they do it, but they do it. And so they must use something else. I haven't looked at the ingredients, but um, obviously if you have a peanut allergy, you're probably aware of it, so you could definitely substitute that, which is kind of nice that they've allowed, a, that they've got something for that, right? Okay, good. Now what we're gonna do when she's done putting in the peanut butter, we're gonna put this into the microwave for about 30 seconds at a time. We're gonna take it out each time, we're gonna stir it, put it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds until all the chocolate chips have melted and it's kind of all become one. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Take about a minute and a half, two minutes. Real simple. So microwave, here we come. What okay. I remember most about Christmas is always getting together with the family. It was a huge celebration. Um, I also remember getting in the kitchen with Grandma and Aunt Sue and making cookies. And also my nanny Melissa, we would always go out to her mom's farm and uh, make cookies and those pretzels with the almond bark on them. Oh, those were one of my favorites too. But puppy chow definitely puts the cherry on top. Alright, so we have our peanut butter and chocolate and all that melted together with the butter. I'm just going to pour in some Chex Mix cereal, about nine cups. And Maria, what you want to do so we don't crush the cereal is we're going to scoop it kind of around. And you want to do this fairly fast. Um, otherwise that chocolate's going to harden, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So our puppy chow is nice and our, our Chex Mix is nice and coated. Do you think it looks good? Mm -hmm. Now I want you to hand me that brown bag right there. And this is the fun part for the kids, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this up. And I've double bagged it so we don't get any powdered sugar out. I want you to hold this for me, okay? And we're going to go ahead, oh, you gotta hold it real nice and open, real wide, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into the bag. This is where having a helper is really nice. Okay, hold on to it. Oh, yes! It feels heavy. Does it feel heavy? Yeah. Okay, now can you guess what we're gonna do, Maria? We gonna pour that in and then we shake it all up. What's this? Sugar! Powdered sugar! Exactly. I'll let you pour it in. The whole thing. Two cups. That's right. Woohoo! Awesome! Alright, now we're just going to take this, wrap it up, and the thank you for coming bag, and start shaking! <laughs> Let's go up and down. Back and forth. I love this one. I love getting with family, seeing them, and getting a lot of 
presents. But my most favorite part about Christmas is being with me. All right, good shaking, Maria. You did a great job. Let's go ahead and pour in this yummy puppy chow and not spill any of it. How's that look? So good. And by using the bag, it kind of just helps make sure that all of it, get all the uh, sugar gets in there. What do you think? <laughs> Is it good? You like it? It's one of my favorites. Mm -mm -mm. What do you think? Is it, is it good? Taste the peanut butter, the chocolate, the sugar, the crunch. Oh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I love puppy chow. It's one of my favorites. Should we get one to Jada right now? No, because that's chocolate, remember? Oh, yeah. And chocolate's not good for dogs. All right, well, we're going to keep eating this. We probably should give a little bit of it away. You know, being it's the holidays, we're sharing the holiday spirit with everyone, and I know that they're gonna love it just as much as we do, hopefully more. In the meantime, we always want you to head to our website, amateurkitchen.tv, to find all of our recipes and videos. And Maria, we even have a holiday section on our website where you can click on it, and it's some of our favorite holiday recipes too. So we hope you try them and like them as much as we do. We also want you to head to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash amateur kitchen. And what do they need to do, Maria? Click that little like button. So you can follow us every single day. We hope that you try this puppy chow, especially if you're an amateur in the kitchen. This is a no-bake dessert that everybody's gonna love, right? Yes. All right, we wanna see you right back here again next time on Amateur Kitchen. See you later. Bye.